Hey guys, so last night I finished watching Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, which is on Amazon Prime. And I heard about it because I was watching the Golden Globes, and they were nominated for some awards, which they won, of course. And, and so I thought maybe why not just give it a go and test it out and see if it's funny and see what it's about, whatever. So basically it's about um, this woman named Midge. Well, her name's Miriam, but they call her Midge. And her husband, Joel. And they get married in the beginning of the episode, the first episode, and basically the first episode is about him being a comedian, or at least trying to be a comedian. They go to this comedy club every night, and he does his act, and one night, and, and they have two children, and they live very close to her parents, and one night, basically, his act doesn't go really as planned, and he kind of bombs, and basically they go home unhappy and he starts packing her suitcase with his stuff and saying that he wants to leave Midge. And the show is basically about what happens after that happens and how each character and their parents and their friends deal with it and all the changes that have that go into um this decision of him leaving and he also tells Midge that he had an affair with his secretary and basically um in her, in a drunken stupor <laughs> she goes to the gaslight which is the comedy club that they go to she goes down there basically just i think just to check it out because you know he he acts like, the husband acts like that was his, like, she didn't know that, that was his dream apparently, and it was. It was his dream to be a comedian. And she just thought that it was a fun thing that they did with their couple friends. And so she goes down there, and she starts to, to do an act out of nowhere, and she's actually really funny, and, and, um, the woman who schedules the time slots for the comedians sees that she has some potential and while she is doing her stand-up she shows her boobs basically and she gets put in jail and the woman who does the time slots go ahead her out of jail so basically it's about her trying to figure out where she is in her life how she feels about Joel, her husband, how she feels about being a comedian, because I mean, it's obviously not something she ever thought about doing. And the and this show is written and directed by the creators and writers of Gilmore Girls. And I would definitely say that you can tell that from watching the show because it's such a well-written show. Like, it's so good. Like, I can 100% see why I won Golden Globes, and last night I won Critics' Choice Awards, both um, Rachel Brosnahan, who plays Midge, and the show have both, they both, both the show and her, they both won Golden Globes and Critics' Choice Awards for the show and for her performance. It's, it's fantastic. If you guys like, um, like 1950s, like, comedy, drama, like it's just it's just great it's 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 fantastic i wouldn't say that i necessarily laughed out loud to any of the um comedy in it but i definitely think it's witty it's charming it's it's just it's just perfect like i can't get enough of it i finished it last night it was so good the finale was amazing uh spoiler alert um he goes to they get they well in the last episode of the season they have their son's birthday party, and after the son's birthday party, they kind of reconnect in a physical way, <laughs> and they both think that they're going to get back together, and she tells him about this like, record store that's right next to the gaslight that she goes to, and so he goes there, and one, once he went in there, I knew that he was either going to like find the record of her comedy, her stand-up comedy, or he was gonna hear it. Well, which, I mean, really, I just thought he was gonna find it, like, in the store. And he heard it. 
he heard it as he was going into the store basically and he looked at the the you know the the, the sleeve or something and he just went ballistic and then basically at the almost end of the episode he goes to the comedy club she is about to go back on stage which I'm kind of leaving out like a lot of things because she in the earlier episode she met one of the most like popular comedians like of like of that generation of the, in the show played by Jane Lynch and so after meeting her she kind of makes fun of her and gets lowballed and is not allowed to com do her stand up anywhere because of of the fact that she made fun of that comedian who's really really popular um so so um Susie who is the person who is like Midge's comedy stand-up manager she gets this other comedian to do a um to do his stand-up at the gaslight and he allows her to go after him so so and then of course we're back to the present what I was talking about and so basically um Joel, the husband, he goes to the gaslight, and she's there. About Midge is about to go up there and do his stand up, and she he does not look happy. He does not look happy in any way, shape, or form. And so she goes up, she does her stand up, and then towards the end of her stand up, she gets like kind of some cat calls and bad language is said to her from the audience, and. The guys who did that leave the leave the place, and then Joel goes out and punches this guy. Boom, 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 and basically he's like, "She's good, she's good," and it's just that, and that's almost the end of the show. And basically the the show ends with her saying thank you and good night, and you know, and it seems like she's back in the saddle, which is great. I mean, the writing is great. Um, I want. Joel and Midge to get back together but I don't know like it's kind of like one of those situations where you know once a cheater always a cheater like you don't know if he's gonna cheat but of course I do think that he regrets what he did and I do think that he really does still love Midge and made a horrible decision and I think he just I think he just felt like maybe he felt like that was, it was just a bad night for him, I think, when he left Midge. You know, it was a bad night for him, and I think he let it get to him too much. And, um, yeah. So, basically, it's about these two lovebirds who separate. They're married. They separate, and she becomes a comedian. And it's kind of funny, because he was trying to be a comedian in, in the beginning of the show, and then she becomes a comedian. And it's, it's very, it's very, it's, it's great. It's a great show. I would give it 10 out of 10. You have to go see it. Or watch it, I should say. If you have Amazon Prime, go get it or go watch it, I should say. Um, it's so good. Hopefully, it'll be like on DVD within the next few months. So people who don't have Amazon Prime or don't want to get Amazon Prime can watch it, but it's so good. And the funny thing is, Rachel Brosnahan, who plays Midge, she is actually um, the niece of Kate Spade with the purses. And I guess Kate Spade is married to David Spade. At least that's what I read on IMDb, but I might be. I might be wrong. I'm not sure. Oh, guys, I thought about this video idea. Would you guys want me to do a video about why Italians talk with their hands? Because I was thinking about it, and I feel like a lot of Italians talk with their hands. And obviously, I talk with my hands, obviously. And I thought that would be kind of an interesting video to do. So if you guys want me to do that, let me know below. And let me know like what videos you guys really like from me because I'm trying to figure out like if I want to do more makeup videos Every so often or if I want to do more pop culture videos. Why is my skin itching? I don't know But yeah, I love this show go watch marvelous mrs. Maisel. It's so good um, I'm probably forgetting to to mention a bunch of details, but I try my best her parents and his parents are really good also like the casting and the writing is just fantastic so go watch it thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more awesome reviews like this one and i will see you in my next video bye